Hello, welcome to Build It With Ben. In this episode, we're looking at the IT Craft basement at Sims 4. Let's go down to the basement. Okay, so this is the exterior of Renham Industries. The whole upper levels, I've just left completely blank at the minute. Um, I think eventually I will put in Douglas's office, but for the time being, I've just focused on the kind of exterior look of it. I've just tried to match some of the um, the images you see when they have like wide shots of the exterior of the building. So let's just go straight out into the basement. That's where the good stuff is. Okay, so here we are. Here is the IT crowd basement in Sims 4, designed by me. Um, I've used some floor plans to kind of get the the geometry of this area right. Um, and then I've had to use a little bit of guesswork in some areas. Um, so we've got the main areas here, Jen's office, the kind of general office room where Roy and Moss sit, uh, Richmond's room, the kitchen, having a bit of corridor space on the outside. So this is the corridor where Jen first comes in on her first day. She uh, encounters a man on the toilet, so I've added in a bathroom there. And that's, that's as far as the corridor goes really, I've just tried to keep it dark. I think I might put in an extra couple of like decorative items just to make the area look a little bit more cluttered. But um, apart from that, that's, that is the corridor. So the main space that I'm happy with is this big shared office area. So uh, this is where the bulk of the activity of the episodes happens and therefore that's the better I've spent the most time uh, working on. And I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I think it looks really accurate to the show and it just looks like a fun area to play in really. Um, one of the biggest things with this is just adding in detail. Just adding as many posters as I can put in, getting bookshelves in there, kind of little decorative items on the desks, things like that, just making the area look busy and packed. And uh, the final result I'm really pleased with. I think it does look like the actual IT crowd set. Um, I've got uh, Roy and Moss sat here on their desks. We'll look at the characters more in depth uh, later on in the video. Um, as far as the rest of it goes, it's just kind of trying to pick the right looking furniture to match the uh, show as close as possible. Um, so Moss has a bit more of a kind of like metallic looking desk and a metallic bookcase behind him. Whereas um, Roy's area is quite a wooden desk and then wooden bookca bookcases. Um, obviously the weird thing about a TV set is that um, you don't have the fourth wall in the episodes. Um, so I've had to take a little bit of guesswork on this fourth wall area here. Um, basically just try to fill it with as many posts as possible just to make it kind of match the rest of the set. The walls were the big thing I was trying to fix uh, and make them look right because the actual set has so many posters and things on the wall that um, it didn't feel right to just kind of go for a basic colour and then put posts over the top. So the solution I've come to is having this kind of newspaper wallpaper print because um, I think it just makes it look more textured and more busy and kind of adds to the posters when you've got them on the top. There's an orgy, there's sections of this where they don't let you put posts on the walls. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's because the walls are diagonal, if that's the problem. So like near the main entrance, I couldn't put any posters on that area, which is really frustrating. Um, I think, uh, I, I don't understand why. There's little, little weird quirks with Sims where things like that happen, where you it just won't let you do something for one particular reason. Um, I was thinking it'd be nice to have diagonal stairs. Why can't you have diagonal stairs? That's really irritating. Um, I've tried to add in a few easter eggs, like a guitar hero to kind of represent the uh, guitar hero for the play. Um, I've got uh, like stacks of hard drives started around. Um, yeah, uh, the mini fridge from the final episode. Um, just tried to yeah fill it out with things really. Uh, so we'll move on to Jen's office. Pretty basic room, um, just had to try and pick the right kind of furniture and things. Uh, Jen's got a couple of like quite cute looking little posters in the background so I've tried to put uh, ch children's paintings up just to kind of represent that a little bit. Um, a lot of this I found a floor plan online where someone had kind of built the whole space in 3D uh, and that really helped make this. Um, yeah again just had to do a little bit of guesswork just putting a kind of bookcase on that fourth wall area. Um, but yeah pleased with how this turned out. It's, it's a simple room but it's, it's looks effective. Okay so then we have Richmond's room which is quite exciting to build. Uh, with these servers I've had to try and take a little bit of creative liberty because there wasn't anything which looked quite right. Um, 
So I've just put these kind of spy desks here. But I think actually the way they light up does actually kind of look a little bit like the server um, things they have in that room. Unfortunately, there's no fans either, so I've had to just put in clocks because it's the only circular object I could find. Uh, yeah, we've got a Richmond sounding little chair there. Looking quite uh, mysterious. So then uh, here's the kitchen space. Um, normally, one of the only times we really see the kitchen is when Richmond is up on the ceiling. And uh, I think they've got the set laid out differently for that particular shot so they can get the cameras in because uh, the room didn't look how it should do. Like, it didn't, it didn't fit in how it should do within the space. Um, so it doesn't look exactly right. But um, seeing as the kitchen is an area we never really see in the show, I don't mind if that one's not fully accurate. It's just the, it's the main, this main room that I'm concerned about, really. I want to make that look right. And I think I'm fairly pleased with the result. Um, you have to let me know if there's any uh, Easter eggs I could put in here. I tried to find something which looked like the internet, but um, there's just nothing quite right, uh, nothing quite fit, unfortunately. I'm sure there's other things I could think of. Um, I wanted to put in like a fire extinguisher, for example, when for when Moss has his fire extinguisher on fire. Um, but uh, I think because The Sims is American, they don't really have fire extinguishers like that. Um, or at least I could, couldn't find any. So uh, that's not in there. But yeah, please let me know if you could think of any Easter eggs to put in because I want to just like fill it out with as many as possible. And that is that's the main IT crowd room. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I'm I'm really happy with it. And uh, all I need to do now is just work on these upper levels a little bit more. But apart from that, I think it's a pretty complete space. I'm I'm really pleased. Okay, so we'll move on now to the actual Sims themselves. Now. Got to be honest with you, I'm not the best at creating sims. Um, haven't really played around too much with the create create sim that much, but um, I just I just find it quite difficult. I, I I can't seem to quite get the likenesses right. So I get to a point where it's like an approximation of the person. Um, so I've made the IT card characters, but they're not the best. I'm sorry. So here we have uh, Roy. Um, just tried to go for quite a basic look for him. Um, I've tried to fill out his personality to kind of match things in the show. So he wants to become a computer whiz. Um, he's a bit of a slob. He's a geek. And he gets jealous. And I think that does kind of sum Roy up quite well, actually. So we'll move on to Moss. It's weird seeing his name as Maurice. Because um, <laughs> you never hear people call him that in the show. So, yeah, here we have Moss. His face isn't quite right and it annoys me with his hair is not quite right either but actually with the hair there's just not quite the right hairstyle I think um, there's a little bit of problem in The Sims in the sense that I don't think there's as many haircuts for black people as there are the other ethnicities um, there's just not as much choice like if you want a character with kind of curly hair you've basically got like two options <laughs> um, so I couldn't quite get Moss's hair right and I think I need to work a little bit on his face because he just doesn't look quite like Moss um, I'm happy with his clothes, the clothes look fine they can, they can stay but uh, yeah it's not the best um, so yeah again, computer whiz, aspiration um, he's a genius he's a geek and he's a bit of a loner um, <laughs> yeah again, pretty much Moss isn't it um, let's move on to Jen So, yeah, again, I'm happy with the clothes. I think they can look like Jen. I think that looks like her outfit from Jen the Frodo. Um, Face-wise, I think it doesn't quite look right. Um, Hair-wise, not that great either. But I tried a lot of different hairstyles, nothing quite fit. Um, I tried messing up with her face a little bit, nothing quite fit. So I don't think it looks quite like Catherine Parkinson, but it's The Sims. That'll do. And, and, and I'm more of a builder. So I don't, I don't really care about the characters as much. Um, Personality-wise, wanted to, uh, her to wanted to become popular. Kind of feel like that's Jen's kind of main motivation in the series to to get higher up in the world and get more popular with people. So that's what I went for. Uh, went for a bit of a snob. I don't know if that's a bit harsh, but um, I think compared to the other two, she is more that inclined. Um, ambitious and cheerful. I just think broadly sums Jen up uh, and then we've got Richmond and 
this is the only one where I feel quite happy with how it's turned out. I've actually made null fielding before, which made this a lot easier for a uh, Taskmaster build. Um, so for Richmond, I basically just took that null fielding build and just um, gave lipstick and eyeliner. <laughs> and then we have Richmond. Um, I've, I've done a few alternate outfits for Richmond as well. So uh, we have just kind of normal look for him. We have more of a goth to boss look, where he's uh, shaped up a little bit. Annoyingly, you can't have different hair colours for different outfits. So, because I wanted to make him blonde for this particular one, but couldn't do it. And that is the four IT crowd characters. The only one who's missing is Douglas. Um, but I think what I might do in the future is when I've built Douglas's office, I will build Douglas then. So if you want to desperately see Douglas in my Sims build, um, wait for part two. <laughs> Stick around. It's exciting. Um, and I'll, I'll make Douglas then. And I might make uh, Denim as well. Why not? I um, can't think of any other particular IT card characters that I'd want to build. Um, no one really springs to mind. I think that's the main five, really, isn't it? Douglas and then these four. Um, like I said, they're not perfect. Uh, costumes wise I'm happy but uh, likeness wise I think they leave a little bit to desire but anyway that is my IT crowd in The Sims 4 let me know what you think I for one I'm, I'm happy with it so uh, thanks for watching thank you for watching this episode of Building with Ben subscribe here for more coming soon